you run your own show you don't have any boss that is telling you come to work by this time come to work by this time you just do you and make yourself unique make yourself stand out I'm trying to create different streams of income i don't want to just rely on having just one job to survive in canada no <laughs> i wouldn't advise that for anyone except if that's what you want if you're scared of dogs don't take this job it's not for you because you will not last you have to hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for joining me again today my name is nikki aka Aja canada if this is your first time coming across my face and this channel i hope that you don't make it your last by sticking around till the end watch this video till the end like this video as well as other videos check out my other videos and subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber hi welcome back thank you thank you so much for joining me again today in today's video this is like i don't know if i'll call it a sequel maybe i'll call it a sequel a couple of weeks ago i did this video on high demand jobs in canada in 2022 and i also included average salary pay and that video seemed to have done well and so i just thought about okay like how can i make this better just to increase viewership and all and so i decided to make another video for students and this is what we're going to be talking about because most of what i've been talking about in my channel has been for students in today's video i'm going to be giving you some part-time job options for international students because again i have gotten some comments in some previous videos where people have asked me can i work part-time if i'm an international student like what kind of jobs are available are there jobs available in this particular province and all whatnot i have about 10 part-time job options for international students like it doesn't really matter what country you're coming from you can apply for these jobs it's something that you can do on your spare time from school or you can even do it alongside going to school and these kind of jobs are jobs where you can gain something substantial for yourself you know be able to pay your rent your feeding and all whatnot so yeah let's just get right into the video without wasting too much time the first job that is on my list is youtube let me tell you something youtube is a powerhouse on its own like i don't know what other word i would use to describe youtube but it is a powerhouse there are millions of people who create content of on youtube as much as there are billions of people who consume content on youtube and so instead of being a consumer of content you can actually be a creator of content you can either entertain people or you can educate people or you can provide solutions to problems people are always looking for solutions to things on youtube especially for those people who don't have time to read about stuff and they would rather just watch a video the best part about youtube is that you run your own show you can talk about anything anything at all that interests you you can talk about it for example you can make study vlogs you can talk about lifestyle you can talk about traveling for you guys international students who are coming into canada you can make videos on your life as an international student what you're studying topics things like the opportunities are just endless and on the youtube space the sky is big enough for everybody you do whatever it is you want nobody is telling you what to, well except for your audience right if if your audience is asking for a particular kind of content then you do have to make videos tailored to your audience but like in the grand scheme of things you don't have a boss that is telling you what to do you are your own boss basically you don't have any boss that is telling you come to work by this time come to work by this time i do youtube part-time i haven't gotten to that level where i can just comfortably sit at home and not have to go to any physical kind of job and like all my income comes from youtube i haven't gone to that level yet and that's why i have like a main physical job and i still have youtube on the side because i'm trying to create different streams of income i don't want to just rely on having just one job to survive in canada no <laughs> i wouldn't advise that for anyone except if that's what you want which is that's totally up to you whatever it is that you decide to do there is an audience for it you just do you 
and make yourself unique make yourself stand out another good thing about youtube is even if you are the shy type that doesn't really want to show your face if you don't want to show your face on youtube perfect there is an audience for that i know of this asian girl i think she's from either japan or korea i've watched a few of her vlogs she makes like things like all these aesthetic vlogs where it's always the same set of things she's doing going to work cooking eating cleaning it's always the same set of things but like it's so aesthetically pleasing to the eye this girl she is she's stutters i think i watched one of her videos where she was talking about why she doesn't really talk in her videos is because she's a stammerer she always has difficulty expressing herself and that's why she doesn't want to just come and sit in front of camera and be struggling to get the words out if you watch all her videos she never shows her face you only see her hands and you have people watching those kinds of videos for somebody who doesn't talk you don't really need much to start all you need is a smartphone that works i remember when i first started i had a smartphone I had so many books bulky books so i would stack them one on top of the other until it's like eye level and then i'll just place my phone in landscape mode and then i'll just start filming in order to get monetized you need 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours it's tough getting there but it is worth it when you eventually do get there the minimum amount that you can get from youtube is 100 dollars. if you're going to be creating content on youtube consistency is the key to being successful on youtube amongst other things but the main thing is consistency consistency is what will take you far the second part-time job for international students this one is a lot more specific to those of you who are interested in healthcare in canada the second part-time job for international students is healthcare aid some provinces call it personal support worker and then here in Alberta, we call it healthcare aid so healthcare aid is basically like a nursing assistant you basically just provide essential and important daily living support and comforts to clients and residents healthcare aid or nursing attendants or personal support workers assist with bathing grooming toileting dressing and other personal hygiene activities to patients, clients, residents. You can either work in a hospital or you can work in a retirement home or a senior's living home or even in a continuing care facility. In order for you to be a healthcare aide, and I'm saying this with respect to the province of Alberta, I don't really know how it goes with other provinces but i feel like maybe it might be similar so one thing you need if you want to go into healthcare aid if you want to do it part-time as a student is you need to have a healthcare aid certificate either that or if you are in nursing school you need to have completed at least one year of nursing school either the rn track or the lpn track so you need to have completed at least one year of nursing school before you can apply to get a job as a healthcare aide and trust me those kinds of jobs are not difficult to get at all average pay for a healthcare aide at least within the province of alberta which is where i currently am is between 19 to 25 dollars an hour which is some cool cash the third part-time job option for international students again and this is also more specific to those of you who are in the healthcare sector particularly in nursing is undergraduate nursing employee or undergraduate nurse or employee student nurse it's the same job but it just has a different name across different provinces under this job you do assessment and care of patients under the supervision of a registered nurse or an lpm you take health history you take health assessments you administer medications ivs wound care and all of that and you implement care plans for patients and adjust care plans as patient needs change you also provide education for patients that's like health promotion in order for you to work this kind of job you need to be a nursing student you need to be in your third year of nursing specifically for an RN track nursing if you're going to a four-year nursing undergraduate uh, program once you get to your third year in fact the moment you finish your second year you can start applying for undergraduate nursing positions in alberta or in the province where you are check those out and see if those options are there i know in alberta there was a very huge hiring spree um, in 2020 and also in 2021 for undergraduate nurses because they just needed that extra help 
with you know nursing staff the pay is approximately 28 dollars an hour so you can work in hospital community clinics and also in continuing care um center i don't know what other provinces um pay undergraduate student nurses or employee student nurses i don't know how much they are getting but the one that i'm sure of is within alberta okay so the next job that is on my list is a server or a bartender this involves basically serving food or drinks in restaurants or fast food franchises the average salary is basically minimum wage here in alberta and in alberta minimum wage is 15 dollars but then your pay can increase if you get tips especially if you're working at a restaurant you you do get a lot of tips you can get up to 15 to 20 percent of tips especially if you work in the evenings a lot of people go out in the evenings that's when you can get tips because that's when you have a lot of people a lot more people who are outside and want to hang out and eat the next job that is on my list is barista a barista is someone who works in a coffee shop and sells coffee tea and pastries i've done this kind of job before i have worked at a fast food my main position was making and selling coffee and boy I was one of the fastest I think I was about the fastest person in that establishment I could make a hot cup of coffee in 10 seconds or less and I was that good those were the good old days the days of humble beginnings those were the good old days I kid you not thankfully I'm in a much better place I don't sell coffee anymore past that level average pay as a barista is minimum wage again it's around $15 the next part-time job for international students is tutoring you basically work as a tutor and you can tutor either online or in person tutoring very much used to be an in-person thing but with COVID-19 it's mostly online now you can tutor online you teach a subject to a child either in elementary or high school if you're good at any subject you can teach English math science geography chemistry physics the average pay for a tutor in Alberta is about $16 an hour. The next part-time job for international students is a dog walker. It is exactly what the name implies. You walk dogs. So in order to work this kind of job, you need to be an animal lover, specifically dogs. You need to be someone who gets along with dogs. If you're scared of dogs, don't take this job. It's not for you because you will not last at all many people are so busy with their lives they just don't have time to cater to their pets and so they are willing to pay to walk their dogs you can be a self-employed dog walker or you can work for a dog walking business it's really very easy right you don't have to talk to anybody at all the only thing you're talking to is the dog that you're walking dogs can understand english especially the well-trained dogs or even people who just wake up one day and just invent jobs and you will see people doing those kinds of jobs average pay for a dog walker is around 15 dollars an hour the next part-time job for international students is hairdresser slash makeup artist slash tailor see let me tell you something if you know how to make hair especially if you're an african if you know how to make african hair like the type of hair that we have you know how to make hair with attachments weave on crochet whatever it is your market is here you can do home service or you can let people come to you if you're a potential international student especially coming from africa learn how to make hair learn how to sew because it will go a long way the amount of money that these people are charging here to make hair it is crazy very expensive to make hair it's very expensive to do your makeup it's if you want a professional to do it for you it's very expensive to sew between hundred dollars and up to three hundred dollars so the next job that is on my list is delivery driver slash uber driver slash ride sharing driver this type of job involves driving either delivering food or goods and services to homes or driving people to and from their destinations you need a functional car and a driver's license we have a lot of online services the average pay for this kind of job is around 17 dollars an hour plus tips one good thing about this kind of job is you do it on your own time frame when you have time so if for example if you have your driver's license that has been you know transferred to a canadian license as an international student let's say you can go to school monday to friday friday evening you can do uber or you can do food delivery go to specific spots or you can even be in your house and if someone orders something close to you 
it's going to give you a notification then you can accept it you go there you pick up the stuff and you go and deliver it or if it's uber you can stay at a strategic point and someone others an uber if you're close by you accept it you go pick up the person and take them to where they need to be and that's how you get paid you set your schedule if you don't feel like driving on a particular day you don't have to drive all you have to do is turn it off and then you will not get all those bp notifications for people making requests the last job that is on my list is sales assistant slash cashier this kind of job involves selling merchandise at a clothing store or a grocery store or a supermarket or any goods and general services store the pace of the job depends on where you might work the pay is usually steady plus you get commissions on the sales that you make and the average pay is 15 dollars an hour i have actually done this kind of job before i once worked as a sales person at Saks of fifth boutique i did that job for like i think it was like four months and i was working part-time this was during the period when i was like desperately searching for that big break in terms of career i knew this wasn't going to be a permanent solution you can work anywhere like walmart grocery store superstore all of these places need cashiers all of, even boutiques jewelry stores they need sales assistants they need cashiers even makeup stores like sephora or mac that's something that you can do as a part-time international student on the side while you're going to school all right guys so these are some of the part-time job options for international students definitely there are more than 10 of them on this list but then i just wanted to bring to you the ones that are fairly easy to to get like it's easy to apply and it's also easy to get employed make some money on the side while you're going to school and also cater for yourself this is it for today's video i hope that you found this video helpful i hope this gives you an insight into the kinds of jobs that are available i hope that you liked this video i hope that it was helpful for you please <laughs> give this video a thumbs up come on help this community to grow and subscribe to my channel subscribe please check out my other videos i'll be putting them somewhere here most importantly turn on your notifications so that you don't miss an upload the next time i upload you'll be the first to know i will see you guys in my next video stay safe bye